Welcome to this week's legislative report. After two weeks of full days of committee hearings, the legislature will return to a schedule of morning floor debate and afternoon hearings on Monday. The agenda begins with confirmation of gubernatorial appointments, then moves to general file debate on bills that have been advanced from committees. Among the bills scheduled for debate on Monday is LB3, which would harmonize language allowing counties and other taxing entities to levy for bonds before the bonds have been issued. Senator Rita Sanders introduced LB3 on NACO's behalf. A bill that was advanced by the Revenue Committee, but does not yet appear on the agenda, is LB4. It would revise definitions of disability and renewal processes for homestead exemptions for veterans. A committee amendment would revise the proposed five-year renewal period so that forms would be due in years divisible by five. Committees heard bills on a variety of county issues this week. LB 513 would allow counties and other public bodies to give notice of public meetings by posting on their legal newspaper's website and a statewide newspaper website if an edition of the paper is not finalized for printing prior to the time of the meeting. LB 513 is intended to give flexibility in areas of the state where publication deadlines do not coordinate with meeting dates. LB 208 would prohibit counties from adopting or enforcing ordinances or regulations that prohibit the use of property as a short-term rental, but would allow regulation of public health and safety issues such as fire and building codes. The language mirrors laws that apply to municipalities. LB 218 would increase funding for the control of riparian weeds to increase stream conveyance. LB 309 would increase the interest rate when taxing entities are unable to refund property taxes. Legislation was enacted in 2019 that eliminated the ability of taxing entities to extend the refund period for five years by filing a hardship waiver. Instead, refunds that are not paid begin to accrue on the interest on the unpaid balance at a rate of 9% beginning 30 days after the refund is certified. LB 309 would increase the interest rate to 14%. LB 284 would require all law enforcement officers to hold bachelor's degrees by 2022. NACO testified in opposition, citing the current difficulty in recruiting and retaining officers. Opponents noted that an advanced educational requirement disregards life experience and may adversely affect diversity because low-income persons might not have the resources to obtain a bachelor's degree before attending the training academy. Other provisions of the bill would create municipal police oversight committees in Lincoln and Omaha and restrict the use of no-knock warrants, as well as requiring maintenance of lists of officers with compromised credibility and eliminating lists of potential gang members. All of these bills remain in committee. Next week, the Retirement Systems Committee will hear a bill to increase retirement contributions by 1% for commissioned law enforcement officers. Senator Mike McDonnell introduced the bill on behalf of NACO and county sheriffs as another tool to aid in recruitment and retention of law enforcement officers.